Winspiration, the way to the essential. On UK Health Radio, Winspiration brings wisdom and information for an extraordinary future. Together, we can shape the world we want to live in. So let's get real and create the idea. Be extraordinary. Welcome to another episode of Winspiration Radio, um, bringing you gross principles for humanity and progress. And today, once again, the expert of sustainability and so much more education, really kind of holistic thinker, Annabelle, Professor Annabelle Jenes. Welcome. And uh, yeah, last time we talked about sustainability, what could we do? Now the world is changing. Is it really changing or we see it just now more of obvious what is happening with wars and everything. So what can you say to inspire us and believe in a better future? <laughs> Thank you, Wolfgang. And thank you also for the warm welcome. And I'm super happy to have um, now and today the second series, uh, let's say like that, uh, with you because it's not just fun. I think uh, it's really a, a great uh yeah, great exchange uh, with you always um, and gives me inspiration. And I think inspiration is exactly the key, especially in nowadays times. The course, um, I mean, it's uh, there is a kind of word which says you just for, um, or you just get what you can hold. And some people nowadays think that it's enough and they can't get anymore you can't take anymore they feel already depressed um they feel already without hope and they lost uh their sense um for life or what it is for and are uh, frightened what the next day brings and it's interesting because um most of these crises are far away from us there are thousands of kilometers so if we would have not the digitization then we might would know about that so this uh, videos and this um, yeah this this uh, digitization at all um, brings these uh, what is far away very close to us. Why is it not possible to do something similar with uh, sustainability to show what is necessary to um, for us to support uh, to do something for a sustainable world? And I think these um, pictures about crises, they are very concrete. You see the um, murdered babies, you see uh, a lot of smoke, um, you see Oh, no. uh, which are burned and this is very close not to to us what we what we can imagine but what can imagine or uh, what can happen to a world when it gets worse um to, to an area which looks like an, after an earthquake or something like this most of us can't imagine how this feels how this looks like and i think this is something where there is a barrier and uh, on the other hand we need inspiration more than ever to um to get from us inside the power which we need to be strong in the outside um for the real things for that what it really matters to do what is, re what is real life yeah th that was just a lot of um uh... Yeah, different areas uh, where we, you just uh, already mentioned. Like, the, first of all, if we understand, like you said, this is all far away, what happens. Um, but the, the subconscious can't decide be between what is real and not real. So if I just focus on that. And um, so then we start to believe it because we follow more emotions and <laughs> our, uh, um, let's say, get real thinking and and a lot of people don't see also like when, when I just talk about the the new conflict in, in Israel and Gaza. Wow, how is it really touching is it for Europeans? Um, is this something special? But every day in, in Africa or what we had for wars in Yemen, if it, nobody cares. Yeah. So even if it's somewhere else, it's worse, we don't care. So how we pick our fear um, then... And the other part with inspiration, so being in spirit, um, is also the problems coming because of um, too much identification what happens on the outside. Yeah. And we can only control our inside and, and our emotions. 
But if we are not controlling our insight, if we don't know who we really are and just go with an identification, then we're always uh, in, in a trap. And, and you see even in a football game, if someone is too identifying with this uh, club and there's losing, they can have tears and sorrow. They can't sleep now for weeks or throw the TV out of the window and everything. So how do we, before we... Oh, 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 you explain uh, inspiration may be different. Um, how can we get real? You mean how can we... Um, yeah, we get how... so, so much illusion for us. Mm -hmm. We're living in illusions. Or when we say, no, the old economy and everything. Yeah, yeah well, it's a normal thing that organisms are protecting themselves. Yeah. It's a, it's, a, it's a totally normal historical thing. That we were changing here also uh, with inspiration radio it says from wisdom and information for an extraordinary future um, but we want to point out more um, gross principles for mm -hmm. humanity in progress to really understand it um, yeah we look back 2000 years okay we had uh, Although in Rome, the, the gladiators and everything, and they needed to die. So, okay, well, what is on football today? How we handle this? We evolve very slowly, but we evolve. And it, so I would say, do we need really um, inspiration or just get real and focusing what is already good? When the media doesn't show it, my fear doesn't want to see it. <laughs> My identification doesn't allow it. Mm -hmm. The reality out there is so much better than, than we perceive it. You think so? In general, yes. There's so much good. Uh, coming. And just in, in, on planet Earth, um, with the duality level, we have always equilibrium. And mm -hmm. like uh, Buckminster Fuller always also said, don't fight an existing system create a new one, which makes your old one obsolete. And, and my fear and, and being in stress with something doesn't change anything. It only makes myself weaker. Interesting what you're health, saying. My health is weaker and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I completely agree with you. I often, um, I'm often asked by people why you are so positive, even in times which are, are so full of crises. And I said, okay, tell me, what will change uh, if I'm in a bad mood? Will it make my situation better? Will it make uh, the situation around better? Or will it just put down my energy, my life energy, and um, avoid that I can give my power to the good things? And then they think about it and say, oh, yeah, you're right. It's true, but, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> but don't you feel, or do you feel that it, it's okay to, to be that positive in these times? I said... Um, oh, yeah, that's an interesting question, because I'm okay. is it okay to be positive? Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's, it reminded me a little bit of somebody mm -hmm. died, and there's uh, somebody, no, somebody died, the other people around are wearing mm -hmm. black, black clothes, looking very sad. So, um, I mean, especially, of course, for Christians, which are thinking that there is a life after death, but um, okay, but uh, so many are... I said, I said, okay, why are you sad? Yeah, we think that this is respectful to the person who died, who's dead now. I said, hmm. so you think that the person who's dead now wished to see you negative, ty uh, tired, um, in black clothes? Don't you think that this person who liked you or were in love with you liked to see you positive, full of energy? and can fulfill maybe that what he started, he or she started, or um, or live in the ideas and thoughts of the person who died in, with the best version of this person. Yeah, but that is interesting. Um, uh, first of all, when you said, I'm okay if I'm positive, and then you see it's not about positive or negative, it's just simply, am I okay? I'm really dealing with, am I okay? And not what is on the outside. Um, and they don't realize it. Yeah, they're thinking about positive navigating and not realizing it's just me trying to be good 
And when he said with the, the death part, it was really interesting when my, my dad died. I learned uh, a lot uh, from the uh, nurses in the hospice. And we were just, uh, we were family standing around and asking, okay, who stayed there overnight? And da -da -da, and, and the nurse said, oh, yes, it was evening. Go for dinner and I wait here and then afterwards you decide. We came back from dinner, and my dad were gone. Yeah. And then I learned they mostly, the souls mostly go when nobody is there and let them go. Um, and we are not, a lot of people are not really helping them. Okay, if you want to go, so what can we do best? But this crying, and it often is also so often very selfish. I don't want that you go, and and. And interesting. I don't want. Yes, yeah, it's it's a it's a me 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 thing, and um, then they go, and that's why uh, why we cry really. <laughs> so it's about so much honesty necessary about ourselves. What is really self awareness? Yeah. Exactly. And then we get back to that. Um, yeah, about our intuition, mm -hmm. about uh, what we are here for. Yeah. And I mean, some people are currently or nowadays saying that they miss the religion. They miss, miss that people are addicted to religion. Uh, on the other hand, seeing how, um, how bad it could be if people are too addicted to religion and getting fanatic like a terrorist. Yeah. This is the dark side of it. Oh, and, yeah. no, and I mean, in the end, uh, looking back to what religion made to us, um, they gave us rules, right? They gave us structures, important. Um, they gave us also values and um, made us thinking about this. Yes. Mm -hmm. But uh, how often religion also became an own life um, and people, for example, trying to um trying to make others following rules trying to make others yes yeah, yeah to feel guilty trying yes. to make others to um behave this and that way and forbid them to uh, live their diversity uh live their individual life yeah, and use it in, for wars yeah exactly in the use name of god war. war exactly yes. exactly Our and in every direction. I'm not talking about any direction or any religion. I'm talking about no, no, every all the same. Yeah. yeah. It can always be misused. Yeah, yeah. And I mean we are in a times which has a great chance because we can we can or we could yes. get rid of that. But yes. uh, there's a vacuum and this needs to be filled. And people often try to fill it with digitization. Okay, I consume something, but it needs to be filled with something which comes from our inner, inner yeah, from, from that was in myself. And yeah. I had a discussion with a doctor some weeks ago, you know, that uh, I had a uh, time ago an accident and then I got antibiotic and this and that. And our stomach is sometimes making problems. It's a psychosomatic thing, I, I guess. And um, I had a lot of stress, different levels. And the doctor, gastroenterolog, a medicine guy, he said, Hey, why are you doing it so complicated? I said, what do you mean with that? He said, take it out. Take the stomach, the lower stomach out. Much better. You don't need to deal with all these things anymore. And I said, yeah. okay. And what's then in, in my body? He said, oh, we, we construct something artificial. That's all easy nowadays. I said, and what is with the whole nurse? He said, nurse, I'll be happy. I mean, you don't feel anything of this anymore. But I said, this is my signal. I mean, this is my body giving me a signal that mm -hmm. he sends and say, hey, animal, listen to me. I'm giving a signal. Take care of that. <laughs> yeah. If it's not there anymore, then uh, I don't feel myself that much anymore. Okay, and that's essentially the idea of society. Or oh, I mean, you come from religion. Um, it was not so much about the individual, like as a misuse and uh, like coming back to Jerusalem or whatever. It's just a fight of religions and not really, I was there with interface organizations. The people, uh, this Muslims, Jewish, Druids, 
they they can really be on a low we don't say lower level in hierarchies uh, the normal people love each other it's just humans but there's some politicians who misuse it and creating all all the fear and and after religion um yeah, we have the, we, it's not, maybe by accident we call the doctors uh, the gods in white. <laughs> yes, oh, yeah. you need to believe everything. And and, and the, the main religion we have today is money. Um, and we have no values, really. Yeah. And the good part in religions is that all, all religions have a, uh, it is with the kind of uh, center believers about love and and, and, and caring, <clears throat> um, but it's not really to misuse. So we we ignore that part. But that is what we, as a thriving humanity, need to develop more. more. What is the next level? Or how do we really describe humanity? And that is a big chance at the moment. But we don't have words for it. We don't have enough ideas yet for it. Yeah. That's right. Um, I, I mean, and there are so many people also saying that this word is um, currently in a situation. Nothing can happen and nothing can happen. And they decide because of this against children. Of course, they say, okay, for us, we we might know how the future will be 10 years, 20 years. But do we know uh, what we uh, offer our children? So, what is this for uh, for an idea? I mean, if you are not believing in that you can make a big difference and that your your steps, your path, that anything what you do is doing uh, making a difference, then I understand you. But um, then you have to think about your whole system of life if this is your idea. Yeah, and and like I said, get real again. I just had this week a talk with someone because now the world is changing and here is a war and now we are so scared about the future. We don't know and uncertainty and everything. Interesting. Yeah. When I was young, um, in the early 60s, there was Khrushchev bringing atomic weapons to Cuba. What a big stress we had there. There was a build the wall in, in Berlin. Uh, we had this uh, oil crisis, no cars on the street. We had uh, stress in, in Berlin. We had in, in, in Prague, uh, the Korea, Vietnam uh, war, and um, so many, everything. It seems like we forget everything, and now the future is stressing. It's crazy. Yeah. It's so crazy. Yeah. It is so totally crazy. And there are so many people who are ignoring uh, not only that, but also thinking that this is no, not real and that this is a fake. And um, talking, for example, about planetary boundaries, I mean, these mm -hmm. are things we can measure. Mm -hmm. And of course, it would wound um, the world, the world, the planet will be also after us when we are all dead. It's just really about us. And this is something I don't understand. People are acting against themselves um, in any way. Yes. Well, I don't know. I don't want to go in conspiracies, at least as a kind of development in, in humans. But um, as the families are gone, these individuals and everything is individual, individual. And that's also part of understanding. We love to do the essence, your purpose, so your individual, who you really are as individual. But in like in a family, everybody is an individual, but what is a we, or what we call we Q intelligence, yeah? And and this is not, there is not a we in the country, uh, let's see, in, in the German government, there's not a we Q, yeah? And so um, and at the moment, we're separating people. Um, corona was very uh, helpful in that. In families, are you for or against injections and everything we just polarizing and not looking what helps us to let's say make peace yeah they're yeah. just talking about how we fight mm -hmm. and what i often uh really miss is um that we stand with the facts that we are allowing us to talk in an open uh, mind but also discuss which with each yeah. other yeah. i mean I had when I when I was in my childhood, I got the old newspaper from Parliament, 
-hmm. and uh, from our father because he said you don't like to communicate you have to look inside that and I know the first time when I got this a stable of newspapers I said oh my god this is old stuff what should I do with that he said oh start reading and there were and politicians like Strauss and other people and they talked with a massive rhetoric and very open and uh, very confrontative and it was fun reading that because it sounds like a really open discussion I think if I would reading something um, as newspaper like this nowadays parliament I think it would look much much different and we shouldn't stop that we, um, uh, we we should it should stop that we forbid us uh, speaking out frankly what we think and what we feel, and uh, I think it should be also something that uh, we should um, yeah we should um, think that every civil society assigned um, can um, yeah can can get should get the truth. I think this is this is important. It is. There's a lot, lot of topics again, what is that just um, speaking um, or sharing emotions? Like if the top five regrets uh, of the dying is uh, number two was, I didn't dare to show emotions. We, we know from um, modern or holistic medicine, um, suppressing uh, all the emotions make you sick. Yeah. And, and the other hand is to really understand also our brain. Um, I just um, in the next uh, health triangle, um, there will be an article here in the UK Health Radio, uh, why we love our shit. Uh, so <laughs> um, our brain developed for thousands of years just for survival and not using too much energy. So is it dangerous now? Is it dangerous at the moment? Yeah, it's always about the moment. Is the tiger beating, eating me now or not? And that's why we never really develop strategies. Um, and uh, what really, really needs a lot of energy is if you yeah. start thinking about the truth. I want to know the truth. I want to challenge my identities, identification, not identity, identifications. I want to check out my wrong beliefs. I want to change in my head. Wow, that takes so much energy, and that's why we and we don't have support from the system. They love it that you just follow, but that's yeah. up to us, really, you, how we invest our energy. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yes, and we think that we um, keep the energy um, if we don't need to uh, decide so much. If other people decide for us. Um, I found it quite interesting to visit China and uh, the zones where you have this social square system. And um, I mean, of course, the people were informed and I guess they they sorted out the people we could talk to. But um, I, um, I think um, it's important to see that a lot of people are really satisfied with the system because it gives them rules and structure. Yeah. So for them, it's not that's in, it's energy. not something negative. It's energy, yeah. And then if you really reduced, and that's all. Like Nightingale had seven levels of awareness, and it just was animal, and then masses, and then comes aspiration. So we're still mainly on the mass awareness, and uh, in this way, I'm believing we're thriving, we're evolving. More and more people have higher. Uh, what is it, awareness than than before, um, but also eight billion people suddenly on planet Earth, um, and they f fight also for survival. Yeah, and yeah. and and as long we are not creating a we family on planet Earth and and um, ignore people if it's Africa or whatever, the Gaza people, how can we really want People live like that. But okay, if I, in, in, in my home country, Germany, see there are five million people, wow. uh, kids, or, or like you just shared before here, six million can't read and write, and nobody's really taking care of it. So that is just, a, it's not a Gaza problem. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's really 
a Western world problem. Yeah. But the good news is that every further day, always the next day, you can change something. Yes. Yeah. And you, we can change something. Not everybody can change something. Of course, also the um, the young child without uh, without a flat or uh, or a house. Uh, he or she can also change something, but we can change so much more. Uh, we are uh, we have such a wealth um, that we can decide that, and yeah. we can decide every day for health. We can decide every day for well being. We can decide every day if we want to be in relationships and meet people which are which have a toxic energy. I mean, this is something we can decide. Isn't this great? So Annabelle, you just started as you know, wow, well, we can change and the body and brain, everything we know it today can change till whatever age, there's no limit. Um, so what are easy things for everybody to do to go in the mood of, wow, I like to uh, go on a different level of positivity or what do you call it? I think first of all, we should get rid of our old believing patterns, believing frames. I mean, there are some which are good. So for example, if you're frightened because a snake is uh, in the close, uh, close uh, uh, around you, then this is okay. Oh, or if you think that um, that a fire can burn you, this is also something which is okay that you keep distance to that. But on the other hand, there are so many believing frames and patterns we got from our parents or grandparents even, or uh, from our social culture's um, bubble. And it's important that we, if we want to change to the better for us, uh, very self first for us, and then also to the others, that we create a positive bubble. For a positive bubble, um, we need to do something. First of all, change ourselves. This is the most hurting area, <laughs> what we can think about. Uh, for for I example... Just like if just only change, and I just... Um... Also for the uh, article I just mentioned, um, we had in, in the first draft the word change, and then we changed to change. Um, because um, in, in English, all the education means going back to the, the word goes back to the Latin roots, just getting out what it's in you. And, 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 and in the German word Entwicklung is just get away what hindering you to, to that you are the real you are seen so i love to put this one no change dare to get rid of all the walls you build around you um, break them down and dare to be seen because that, everybody wants to be seen but they don't dare to show themselves so and I, I go away from this this change and this says, wow, get rid of all these facades and be you. Yeah, exactly. And I think I am, it's funny, but we are so often not satisfied with us. Mm -hmm. And um, there are cultures, uh, mainly indigenous cultures, um, most people in the, um, in the blue zone areas, um, which have the first impetus mm -hmm. to think about themselves so mm -hmm. what can i do better to feel better mm -hmm. very easy question yes. and the answer is not uh treating somebody around me in a bad manner or in a, with a bad behavior the first idea is oh treating myself in a better way that makes uh yes. that gives me a better sure. yeah. let mm -hmm. me have feeling better so mm -hmm. uh, this is the first uh this is the first idea which comes to me and the yeah. western culture um whether what it comes from, but the people often think first about trying to find somebody whom they can put down, trying for somebody where they could find mistakes, mm -hmm. trying to find find somebody who feels minor, and then feeling better because of this. What is that? You yes. lost completely uh, the feeling for yourself. You lost completely the idea how strong you are. You call us completely the idea about self-awareness. And this brings you, only this brings you to this point. And this is damaging. 
This is damaging for relationships. This is damaging in the end for yourself. Because if we are talking about civilization illnesses, then we are uh, we are talking about illnesses which are increasing dramatically and increasing. And there, um, there are some illnesses which are officially called psychosomatic. There are some which are not called like that. But in the end, a lot of them are psychosomatic. The course are autoimmune system. I mean, how often people have this that a system uh, attacks them, the their own body. Uh, I mean, this is. I think it's a. It's a body. It's, the body is shouting, "Hey, yeah. do something. Heal yourself. Be careful with. Uh, or be be nice to your body. Don't hit him." Yes. And it's the same with these illnesses, where it's about that we're forgetting things. I mean, there are so many people who would love to forget their own life, the whole life. Yeah, um, they do. Of course, they go back to the top five regrets. Exactly. They regret what they didn't do, not what exactly. they Exactly. So, I mean, no wonder if they get, uh, if these illnesses are increasing. Yes. And of course, they're more... I like it in the English uh, word, which is, um, the illness is uh, one word, sickness, but there is also disease. And it's just yeah. this ease. And, and and if we really get this, you can live ease in your body or tension, dis-ease. Yeah. Um, and um, then there's something wrong. So I simply um, ask people just, first of all, when we just talk, don't focus on the outside, focus on the inside. If, if you blame someone else, you create a shitty energy in yourself, chemicals and everything. That's you, not the other person. And, exactly. and on the duality level, our cells can only open or close. That's the two possibilities. So yeah. if you every evening of the day, just reflect, oh, how was my day? How open were my cells? When I closed them, when I opened them, da -da -da -da. and the more you mm -mm -mm -mm, can live really open. Yeah. Ease. That's right. Yeah. That's right. I um, have a story I would like to share with you. Yeah. Um, I was working for the Senate a while ago. Mm -hmm. And in the Senate, it was a very beautiful, um, very tough woman. And uh, I liked her. She was not just attractive. She, uh, she was communicative. She was intelligent. Um, but then I saw how she was treating herself. She mm -hmm. was smoking. Mm -hmm. Once an hour, she went outside to smoke. She ate convenient food, mm -hmm. really bad quality of food, mm -hmm. a lot of chocolate, a lot of sweets at all, um, sweet drinks. Yeah. So once a day, uh, on a one a day, I asked her and said, why are you treating yourself so, so badly? Um, she, 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 she said, um, ah, this is something which is not my responsibility. I said, why? And she said, oh, this is the responsibility of our employer. Do you see somewhere mm -hmm. something healthy we can buy or he gives us as a present? I said, no. She said, so this is the reason why I'm eating like that and behaving like that. I said, but this is bad for your body and for your brain too. Um, why are you doing this? I mean, you're, you're attacking your own system. And she said, no, 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 you don't see it right. I have an extra holidays, um, which you don't have. Once a year, at least, I'm going to the hospital for four mm -hmm. weeks at least. Afterwards, mm -hmm. I get another four weeks where I can get really, really healthy. And this is because on one day, my stomach is not, not liking this anymore. So I get a really heavy pain in my stomach inflammation and temperature and all of that and then i need to go to the hospital and they they keep me for four weeks and after this i get in a, a, a reconvalence time um, on a special uh, location sometimes really nice on an island where i can recover and i said but you were shot in the life with that she said the employer could behave different against me i said but it's your life not the life of your employer she said yeah but anyway i like to have my holidays so that was a conversation and um i mm. was really a bit shocked because she was so intelligent um in the daily routines and work and mm. uh, i really liked her 
But she um, doesn't see any other possibility to have vacation, and, and that's she just... didn't take the responsibility of her. Self. Yeah. Getting out of the system, maybe yeah. having another job, which gives her more holiday. Yeah, but well, you have it. Um, and I can see it in different countries where there's a good health insurance system. A lot of people have, if you offer something good and treatment or natural stuff, is the insurance paying for it? No, or well, then I don't use it. So we train people wrong and and. They have the brains, they have the emotions, they have the identifications. And I, rem I just see my life, what I believed in the past, what I saw, I, how I saw the world and yeah. how it needed to change and that it was not always easy um, to give up old beliefs um, and, and go for something new. Um, but yeah, if you get it once, then you strive for the better and that's why i also wrote the book better the whole world against me than my soul but it took me a while to accept that and not just building the facades and do whatever other people say because i grew up what should your neighbor think about you huh yeah <laughs> and that is uh, the the real thing how do we really um come to the who we really are and what is good for me and what is good for a healthy family, healthy society. Zainal, well, um, the last time we talked, it was more so um, kind of a business uh, world view, um, how the industry should change for sustainability more. But today we talk totally different. <clears throat> so what is this actually what you're doing? Did you change something in your profession? Uh, where is your main work focus at the moment? Um, I'd say um, my work was always in a flow. <laughs> and it's interesting because I've talked to my mother um, a while ago, and then she said to me, um, ah, what's going on there? I said, mom, you know, there's a lot going on always in my life. And she laughed and she said, when will you stop with that? When will you stop um, learning new things? I said, the day where I will die. This will be the last day where I will behave like that. Mm -hmm. And she she laughed and said, oh, this is so untypical. I said, um, it would be great if more poor people um, can feel how good it feels and how good it is to, yes, to stay yes. young, mm -hmm. feel young. And uh, concrete back to your question, um, you know that I... Um, Yes, survived after doctors told me that I have this just three days to live. And um, from this, I developed with um, Indigen um, medicine, medical people from Indigen um, um, population, um, with West doctors, with um, doctors from uh, innovative sectors in the United States and others. I developed with them a bunch of uh, ingredients which are good for me. And I defined after this a kind of um, roadmap for me, which helped me uh, not only getting out of the wheelchair, surviving uh, uh, since uh, 11 years now, but um, even um, yeah, getting very young with... Uh, uh, with my brain, with my organs, uh, for example, my nephews, my, my lungs and everything. And um, now I, I have been asked more and more during the last weeks, I don't know why, oh, you look so good, why are you taking, what are you doing? And um, um, I said, okay, okay, I take that. So um, I plan to write a book about that um, to give these ideas and this uh, tips, this recipe to other people. Mm -hmm. And um, I will, I'm currently working on a kind of academy about that. It's uh, less biohacking. It's more a kind of listening to yourself because by listening to ourselves, we often get the right things. Um, even things we've never heard about. And this is so interesting about that. And um, I will teach people on that. Um, I will give them concrete tips and I will guide them um, why I'm doing that. Uh, you know, I'm coming from sustainability and innovation. And I think both works together in a very good way. 
Well, maybe it's not, not really a difference. When we, when we exactly. started, it's sustainability of all the big companies or the world, the whole economy. And now we go, what is really necessary that humans can be sustained and how they are healthy? Yeah. And then exactly. we go back. Mm -hmm. And I mean, normally uh, sustainability is innovative. No? If we look at plants, if we look at animals, but especially plants, where we see that uh, if a plant, for example, can't grow in an environment anymore, then it changes. Um, mm -hmm. Then it changes in a way that it's more resist resistive. Yeah. And if we talk, for example, about herbs or plants, uh, which can um, feed us as a kind of medicine, medicine, medic medicine or a kind of um, uh, ingredients which support us feeling better, then it's uh, exactly these plants which are growing up in an environment which is not that happy, not that friendly to them. <laughs> yeah, well, course... it is, you, you think here's a very important point because people don't get or misunderstand. Well, we always talk, okay, in the last 400, 500 years, we went to this mechanical view of world, a materialistic. And <clears throat> my simple thing is, um, everything in the universe is uh, information we talked about in spirit and when it says you you were thrown out of the paradise it was just the disconnection um and it, and actually it's not really the plants or the material it's a frequency the plants transport now, every plant has a different frequency and if we understand that then okay what do my kidney needs and frequency and everything and grandma knew which plant had the frequency yeah and they could do it but like in, in western europe we burned all the witches who had the the knowledge and created a different system yeah. and working only on the mechanical level and just like it says it's a psyche or the frequency so it's so important to get a totally different worldview. Everything is frequency. Um, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, but what, what you said, and if I understand it right, I learned to listen to my frequencies like a radio. Right? When it comes out, what kind of music comes um, and get a different feeling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. And, and you believe in, you know, say, writing a book? And, and you want to educate how to train that, that more people can really easy follow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now you had here an interview also with kinesiology and the 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 body knows everything. We, we, there's a lot of things. Um, <clears throat> Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you know, I mean, I've learned from so many. Um, I did my master in Reiki, and mm -hmm. I uh, learned kinesiology and um, acupressure, uh, acupuncture, different things. Um, and it was for me really uh, eye-opening when I ten years ago um, learned a technique from an Austra Australian doctor. We um, did it virtually that she taught me. And uh, by learning that, uh, she could um, help me um, by connecting with me in a special mode, an alpha mm -hmm. mode or in a theta mode. And then she could see, um, yeah, she could see the information of my cells and my body. Mm -hmm. So I could speak with her. And it was for me fascinating to, to getting this um, when she connected with me in this way. And uh, yeah, it, it was super good um, getting through this phase uh, with her um, by that. And by learning this uh, by myself, it helped me more and more to understand me and myself much better. And understanding is the first, uh, first step. Then it's about... Mm -hmm. um, yeah, changing and this changing is so hard um but um i think um it is about how we look at it um every it'll, it'll every little step we can also see as a kind of chance right um that we manage this and we should be more proud of a small step that we manage and of a big step but of course we know that the small step where uh, we'll do the big step will be maybe a kind of showcase. Yeah, and, and the big step, um, 
if it would be in the right direction, it's, it's maybe a lot of too stressy. I need to learn to build the muscles. But a lot of people love big steps in the wrong direction and ignore the small step in the right direction um, <clears throat> because they don't really have this orientation. Like I said, who am I? It's a self-awareness. And for thousands of years, you can go back oof, um, 5,000 years to Asia, Buddha, Jesus, and um, all as Aristoteles or the Greeks in a sense, know yourself. Know yeah. yourself. That's the main thing. And we invest no time in it. Yeah. And then you're lost. You're totally lost. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And uh, I mean, it was for me also funny when I, or funny, a kind of experience when I um, operated my feet, both feet, um, mm -hmm. two years ago. Mm -hmm. I had um, broken feet several times, or they were several times broken. And uh, before it was not possible uh, to do an operation because um, they were broken so so much that yeah, it was not possible. Right. But um, then I did this operation of both um, feet. And um, when I had the treatment by an osteopath, I talked with him and he said, um, what do you think about your feet? I said, what do you mean? He said, how often are you practicing with your feet? I said, practicing? What do you mean? He's, I said, I'm working all the time. I have them on the ground. Yes, he said, but do you know how important they are for you? I said, yeah, kind of. He said, and yeah, this is a problem. Most of the people just use the things they have um, in a way of, I just have this, this is my resource. Mm -hmm. They don't take care of that. So who is doing um, learning with the eyes, for example? Who is uh, taking care of the um, of the reflex zone of the of the feet, for example? Doing massage of the feet. Um, it just if you feel that something is not right with that. But we all know that prevention is much much better than um, repairing afterwards. Yeah, and like in a private relationship, romantic relationship, I guess it's easy to understand. If I ignore my partner all the time, I use my partner all the time, don't give attention and energy and love to my partner, how long is this a good, interesting relationship? <laughs> Maybe one day you find yourself alone. And I think it's, it's a, every, everything, everywhere is the same. How do you yeah. treat your feet? Yeah, so I prove. I use it, I don't, know, I don't care about it. So they say, okay. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and that is, um, it is really how can we really love? And then we we can expand. Um, nobody is doing something on her own. Yeah, I, I shirt I didn't make myself, the glasses I didn't make myself. Or I'm depending so much on other people and Luckily, they invented Zoom that we can talk and everything. So many I can be grateful all day and not doing anything. And um, that's why also when he said positive, uh, be positive or be optimistic. I said it's just I'm being re realistic. Mm -hmm. So far, everything evolved. If you think. Yes, well, there are dips. It's like in the stock market. It doesn't always go up. It goes down. But in general, I think humanity evolved. And now we have a chance with our, own, with our modern brains um, and with modern science, we so much faster seeing good things also. Like you're talking about the kind of body hacking or brain hacking or whatever. It yeah. was not possible 20 years ago because we had not the tools, you know, the computers and microscopes for that. Wow, we have so much more. And now artificial intelligence is coming. Oh, we don't need to do all the work we don't like. Now we yeah. can focus on really developing us. Wow, what a good chance we have at the moment. I think so too. And it's better to look from that and to give this get this a current situation this angle to look from the half empty glass yeah or is it just us who decide what it is 
And in the end, this decision is more than just a decision for exactly this moment. This decision is a decision for or against us. And not just us, and this is our responsibility, it's also for the bubble around us. And of course, you know how toxic it can be for the whole room if somebody enters who's in a bad mood. Yeah. And you know how great mm. it could be for a room if somebody enters yeah. who's full of motivation, positive, yes. and you yeah. have to feel that, oh my God, yes. it's good, close to this person. And we have to create more of these moments, of these moments of excellence in every day, in every moment that we know that every day is a good day, we decide. It's not the sun or not the sun. It's really about just about us. The rain can be so fruitful. Um, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Well, that is something that when we come, we've been talking about religion, but the main message for me, but I, I'm not so deep into it, but when Jesus said, it's about the joy of life. So have a joy and be like yeah. a kid again, curious and joyful. Yeah. That is what we need need to be and, and focus on what we can create. Yeah. Exactly. And there are so many people nowadays mm -hmm. which talk about just um, you have to get rid of this and that. You mm -hmm. have to, uh, it's not good to take this or that. Okay. Yes, that might be uh, the case. But uh, it is, I mean, we can look from, we can look at this from different angles again, right? Mm -hmm. um, so for example, <laughs> being able to drink less latte macchiato with caramel yeah. is great for me because drinking yes. this or there stopping no... drinking this yeah. no comic anymore this is good for uh, my body and, huh? and underneath is so much fear and that is for sure not healthy uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. well I, I i'm not able at the moment going in with you more in the coffee shop to the brownies and coffee lattes because unfortunately time is over again already um, what a shame we, so we have to do this we, next time we have an, that's an, and I'm, for sure i'm curious and see your uh, changes in, in uh, what you do and like i said more beautiful than ever um, <laughs> so evolving on all levels thank you very much for this exchange of thoughts it was a pleasure and, for me and uh uh, dear listener, uh, be inspired and focus on the good. Thank you. This was another episode of Winspiration Wisdom and Information to support you getting out of illusions, false identifications, limiting beliefs. We all have the power and potential to be more, do more, have more, give more. Reality is what is possible in the universe and the best is yet to come. If you want to dive deeper into possibilities of creating the extraordinary future, go to inspiration.global or to wolfgangsonnenburg.com. More information and some free downloads like the email program Dream Goals Reality or a copy of the book The Best is Yet to Come can be found on the UK Health Radio website under the Listen on Demand and presenters section. Join us again next week on the Winspiration Show for more wisdom and information to create your extraordinary future.